Some time ago, I was sifting through some old folders and stumbled upon a comment I had saved and completely forgotten about. Many moons ago, Ian McGlasham left a comment under one of my topology videos regarding six-spoke poles and how he'd found it to be a useful thing. However, he hadn't found much support for this idea and wanted me to weigh in. So I thought it would be a good excuse for me to get back into doing some topology videos for you folks. Apologies again for taking so long to get to this, but I guess it's better late than never. So as a general rule of thumb, poles with six or more edges are considered bad practice. However, there are exceptions to this rule. So let's go ahead and make the case for them with the following examples. Alright, so for the first example, we're going to go ahead and model a three-way pipe joint. So I'll just go ahead and create a cube here. And I'm going to select the faces that are facing the camera. And once I do that, I'm going to extrude this along the normals, individually that is. And once I go ahead and do that, we're going to see that we end up with a six spoke pole right here. So what I'm going to do is just get rid of the caps. And once I've gone ahead and done that, I'll just switch to the back view of this. And I'm just going to join these edges here and this one and this one. So now we end up with a six spoke pole here as well. And I'm just going to get rid of these edges that we have here. Just go ahead and dissolve that. We end up with a six spoke pole. And now when I subdivide this, we can see this pole is very obvious. I'll just go ahead and shade smooth. And we still have some artifacts here. You'll notice we have artifacts here as well. However, there's a fix for this. Let's go ahead and apply the subdivision surface modifier. And once I go ahead and do that, I'll add another one over this and it's gone ahead and resolve the problem that we had there. And you'll see that the highlight kind of rides along the edges nicely. And so not only does the internal corner look good, also the external one does. So this is perfectly acceptable in my opinion. So let's just go ahead and push this off to the side and take a look at another example. So for this one, we're going to take a look at the basic shape of a round faced dice. I'm going to go ahead and create a cube. Let's tab back into edit mode here. And this time we're going to be insetting the faces. So I'll just hit I on my keyboard. Then I'm going to check individual and let's adjust the thickness to about 0.1. And let's go ahead and repeat that by holding down shift R. It's going to repeat that inset. And I'll just go ahead now and add a subdivision surface modifier to this. Shade smooth. And you'll notice that we end up with the shape of a round face dice. Now you can see that we have some problems where that pole exists. So when we inset it, we created a pole here, a six spoke pole. And that's causing some artifacts. And the same fix can be applied here. I'll just give it about two levels of subdivision by that and throw another subsurf modifier over it. And now we have a nice clean result. So that's example number two. Another example where this type of pole would be useful is in achieving the shape of the area where the adjustment knobs would sit on a rifle scope, and certainly for other machine parts that need their corners to have a similar treatment. So at the end of the day, all these rules are merely suggestions. If something can be achieved by breaking the rules, I think it's perfectly acceptable if the desired result is achieved. The more you model, the more you realize that modeling is all about compromise. In conclusion, six-spoke poles are not only acceptable, but may even be a more efficient and a better solution in some cases. And before I end this video, I need to plug Ian's channel as it is a fantastic resource for those of you looking to get better at subdivision modeling. Be sure to also check out some of my sub D modeling lessons at the end of this video. Anyway, that's it for this one. I will talk to you in the next one. Thanks for watching.